I feel like she does the job just as well, if not better. I feel like just as well. Let me not guess. Hello and welcome to Black Woman Things. I am Tyra and a lot of y'all have found my channel through me styling my shrunken natural hair video featuring the audio of lip gloss. Make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to your girl. Um, but a lot of y'all have been asking me what products do I use on a daily? How do I style my hair? Girl, my hair has been in braids for like six weeks and I just decided to put on a little turban today, you know, switch it up, okay? But I do have all of the products that I use and I also got notes of some things that like I also like that maybe like I've ran out of or that I've tried that's good and I just haven't repurchased it. Because for me, I don't believe in product hoarding. If I use a product and it's good, I'm gonna buy it again. If I use a product and it's bad, I'm not gonna buy it again. If I use a product one time and it sucks, I'm returning it. Like, I do not have heaps and heaps of products, okay? So, like I say, this is stuff that I actually use, and like I say, the stuff I got written down and stuff I've used in the past that's really good, but I'm not about to buy it again and just have it sit on my shelf for a while, okay? So, let's start off with our shampoos. I'm just gonna take y'all through like a regular wash day and everything that I would do and the products that I would use. So, the first product I'm gonna mention, I actually don't have it here with the shampoos, would be the TGIN uh, Rose Water Hydrating uh, Shampoo. I absolutely love that shampoo, it's really good. I didn't repurchase it because I make natural hair videos and so I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, buy like the, you know, trendy kind of things and if it works, like I said, I'm gonna use it. If it worked really well, of course, I'm gonna tell you about it. I'm gonna do a product empty about it, right? Um, um, but yeah, so that's like honorable mention. I don't have it anymore. Um, but my current hydrating shampoo is actually this Miele Pomegranate and Honey Moisturizing um, Detangling Shampoo. This is actually my boyfriend's shampoo. Uh, but I've started to use it and it's really good. Like I say, it's hydrating. Like it smells amazing. Shoot, we both been using it and y'all can't see because it's a dark bottle. But it's hella full. Like we've had this for a couple months now and the two of us use it. The hair is clean. The hair is moisturized. And it's a black owned brand. So what is not to love? But whenever I have a hydrating shampoo, I always also have a clarifying shampoo on the docket so this one that I have in the house is the girl in here well actually it says it's a moisturizing water to foam shampoo but I use this as my clarifying shampoo okay and also I'm gonna link down below all these products I'm pretty sure all this stuff you can find on Amazon that's my saving grace I don't like to leave the house so it will be linked below but yeah so this is my like cleanser shampoo this is the girl in here I also like the uh, melanin hair care like African black shampoo that's also a really good one um but I was trying to a girl in hair collection and I actually like it I definitely appreciate the nozzle because you know when you have your hair in braids you really need something to get in between those parts that's also why I like this one too because you can just like squirt it in between the parts so this is what I use as like a hydrating shampoo and this is what I use as like my clarifying shampoo so after I shampoo my hair I deep condition I am not one that does the rinse out conditioner I'm sorry I'm not a fan why am I rinsing this out I feel like if you're gonna be like detangling I I guess but like I say it just don't make sense to me so I don't do it um, and so my favorite and go-to and the one that I use over and over and over and over and over again like swear by this like to the point where I've stopped buying other <laughs> deep conditioners is this Miele uh, Babasu Babasu I feel like it's Babasu um, and mint deep conditioner this one right here you can even see I got some of this stuff on there okay so um, I don't even know how many times I've purchased this she's a little on the pricey side but worth every single freaking penny like once you put the joint on your hair I'm telling you the hair will be transformed okay no Chris Brown and so I absolutely love this one and I also also got this uh, rice water and aloe vera um, deep conditioner by Miele that I also think is really good like Miele is really that girl you're gonna see I got a lot of her up in the collections and again like these are all like black owned so far I actually like try to make it a point to buy products from black owned businesses because I'm black and I just feel like I should buy from black people the channel's black woman thing so you know that's just me no shade um so after my deep conditioners like i said those are the only two i have and even like looking on my little chart here yeah those are the only two that i have like i said that i use over and over again i've tried other deep conditioners like yeah i've tried other ones but like i say it's nothing's worth mentioning like nobody is better than this girl right here i'm trying to tell you nobody's better than this girl she's good but nobody's better than this girl um and so after my deep conditioning i want to go ahead and put in some leave-in conditioner and so this is a leave-in conditioner that i use it is by um kinky curly not today i saw this all over the interwebs like all of the natural hair girlies were using that leave-in conditioner like from the jackie inas to the phase in the cities and i was like oh well damn let me try out this leave-in conditioner and see what it do what it does and um it does everything like it's actually amazing so i really fucks with it so yeah that i literally let me check my little list um yeah that's actually the only one i have on the list as well because like i've tried other leave-in conditioners but again 
she's that girl. Like, don't play with her. She's, she's, she's her, 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 okay? <laughs> so when it comes to, you know, like deep conditioning and using like a leave-in conditioner, I use like plastic caps to put on top. So like when I deep condition my hair, I always put a little plastic cap. You can buy like hundreds of these on Amazon for like pennies on the dollar, okay? So um, I just put a little plastic cap on. Again, like I say, you can get it on Amazon. And when it comes to like detangling my hair, so I used to use like, you know, the wide tooth combs and I don't know, I just felt like I was ripping the shit out of my hair. So, again, watching the videos, I saw a lot of natural hair girlies using this uh, Felicia Leatherwood brush or whatever. They got the knockoffs on Amazon, but, like, they're, like, look at how rigid she is. This, I have never detangled so easily, like, so smoothly than using this Felicia Leatherwood brush. Like, y'all need to go ahead and cop this. This is what I use. Um, when it comes to, like, holding my hair back, like, I use duck bill, or I was about to say duck bill clips. I had some, but they was metal, and they ended up rusting, so I don't use the duck bill anymore. I use, like, these plastic little claw clips or whatever. I got tons of these, again, on Amazon. You can, like, for literally pennies on a dollar, you can get so many of these things in a pack. So, this is what I use to, like, hold my hair back. So, when it comes to, like, moisturizers or oils, I only have a few. I gotta be honest, I don't go too deep into, like, the, the moisturizers or, like, creams and custards and stuff, because I just feel like I make my hair flaky. Um, but I do have this girl in hair, um, hydrating hair milk that I do use. You can just, again, has that cute nozzle and you can just put it like straight on your scalp, but she is very much so watery. So if you want your hair to stay like in a stretch state, like I don't really know if you want to use this once your hair is already dry. Cause like the first ingredient in this joint, I'm pretty sure, yup, is definitely water. So your shit is definitely going to frizz back up. So I don't know about that. Um, but when it comes to that scalp care, like I said, I've got braids in right now. Girl in hair also has this, what is this called? This, uh, protective restoring balm right here. Like I use it. I really like it. It, it makes the hair feels all tingly and like I say just the scalp feels amazing I like this so much I started using it on my boyfriend and he liked this so he also has his own bottle of this um but I gotta be honest with you constantly like squeezing this like there's a lot of like resistance and like I just don't like things that it's gonna give me fucking carpal tunnel so I went ahead and I like looked on girl and hair website to see if they had something like better for your scalp and so they got this like scalp and hair strengthening oil like I said y'all I'm not too big on like oils and stuff like that um I well specifically with the oils i just feel like it makes my hair oily and it just sits there i never really feel like oils are like seeping into my scalp so she's not a big oil girl like literally i have this oil that i just mentioned um and then i got this um avocado oil and so whenever i do like the aztec clay mask or whatever like this is the oil that i use inside or like if i just did my hair using some gel and maybe like it's crunchy this is the oil i use like this avocado oil but these are literally the only two oils that I use. And then when it comes to like my scalp and like trying to moisturize the scalp, um, these are the only two uh, products that I use. So let's go on to mousses. So if I'm going to use a mousse, I don't really use mousses too often. Um, I use this one, this Miele mousse, and I also like the Design Essentials mousse. That's also a really good mousse. But I tend to only use the mousses like when I have braids. And I've tried the mousse with wash and goes, like mousse and gel. I've never done just mousse for wash and go because my curls would laugh. So um, I don't use too much mousse. That's why I only have this one. And like I say, before this one, I was using the Design, Design Essentials one. That one was good too, but like I say, I started using this one i still got it i'm not about to buy another mousse if i already got a mousse so if i'm going to blow dry my hair i'm also very simple i went ahead and bought that whole like the rev air like super expensive 400 dollars dryer but my thing is i don't blow dry my hair enough i feel like to justify having a 400 hundred dollar blow dryer um so i just use you know what i mean the good old-fashioned you know what i mean old school boy put the little jingy jingy and you know what i mean i just get busy like it's really i don't i don't blow dry my hair often enough i feel like to justify all that um, so if I want to blow dry, this is what I use. If I want to stretch out the wash and go, I'm literally just going to pull my hair and go ahead like that. Um, but I, like as like I say, most of y'all found me from wearing my shrunken natural hair. I don't really stretch my hair all like that anymore. Like, it is annoying. Like, we, we didn't even want to get into that. But yeah, I don't even stretch my hair all like that anymore. Um, but if I am going to, like, blow dry my hair, um, I do use heat protectant. Um, I use the um, the Sign Essentials Agave and Lavender one here, as you can see. And like I said, I don't blow dry my hair all like that. As you can see, like, this drawing is pretty full like oh well, i guess it's like halfway my boyfriend was using it too but like i don't like there's no point in blow, blow dry your hair for what like <laughs> it takes forever like no if i want to refresh my hair i love a good spray so the sprays i love is this one by Miele. it is
it is the pomegranate and honey curl refresher spray and if y'all found me from that wearing my um like you know uh, shrunken natural hair this is the spray that i was using y'all like i absolutely love this spray like i swear you first of all it smells amazing every time i use this on my hair my boyfriend's like your hair smells amazing but it also just makes your hair feel so soft and i was like so obsessed with like Mielli and their spray that like i went and got this um what's this this rice water mist because like they came out with this whole like you know rice water collection that's what this deep conditioner is from and so i was like okay let me try that deep conditioner let me try their mist um i also like this mist i gotta tell y'all she's like the little sister to this like she tries but like big sis is always gonna come through so i swear by this like somebody was in the comments talking about oh you need to use water i mean water is cute and i mean obviously well, not water is cute water is bae you know what i mean water is king but i'm saying like once you've already done your routine and you know what i mean like it's a couple days after you've styled your hair use her okay use her i mean water is great you know if like she said in the video the hair is very moisturized bitch and you just need to bring it back to life just go ahead and spray you know what i mean with some warm water you probably be all right but if you feel like your hair actually needs some like actual like moisture to bring it back which my hair like she's always thirsty you know what i mean not just for water but from some actual moisture this is what I use. Like I say, swear by this. Now, the last product I'm going to go through is my gels. Because I love a good wash and go. The first gel I'm going to start with, this is actually not for your wash and go. This is some braid gel. This is the um, Yelly, like white rice water braid gel. I use this whenever I um, braid my hair myself. I used to use jam. But I'm like, mm, I don't really know about the ingredients. And mm, I don't really know about the smells. Um, So, you know, I want to go ahead and get something natural. Get something black. Um, So, this is um the braid gel that I use. And, um yeah, I love it. I don't really see a point in like going back to the jam i feel like she does the job just as well if not better i feel like just as well let me not guess like it's not you know what i mean it, you can swap them out but she's black owned in that but when it comes to defining my curls for like you know what i mean like a wash and go or something like that i'm definitely gonna go with the classic you know wet line extreme gel she's not black owned i'm looking at these products here she's like one of the, the i think these are the only two things that are not black owned in this whole drawing which is pretty crazy but like yeah the wet line extreme gel she definitely comes through every time but sometimes i'm not go hold y'all i do get a little bit of flakage um and she does give that like very crunchy crispy like very 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 defined kind of look and if you're not into that and you want something more natural you definitely want to go for this design essentials custard okay you can get in there and it will define your curls but i gotta tell you it is going to give you more of a natural look okay the hair is going to be like more fluffy and poofy like you know yeah like i don't really know it's like a fluff poof it's not like a you know what i mean super defined crunch um don't get me wrong the hair is going to be defined but not as defined as with the wet line i mean you can go ahead and use it together but i personally feel like that's a waste of product use one or the other if you want a natural look but still have your curls popping definitely use this if you don't give a fuck and you just want your shit you know what i mean slick you know what i mean to the gods you want to go ahead and use this and like i said this is just to define your curls though if you're trying to like you know what i mean do a ponytail or something like a slick back pony girl i don't know i ain't got no products for that because i don't wear slick back ponies that's real bad for your hair um but yeah so these are the products that oh let me look at my list before i like end this joy um i want to make sure i've used um or i, I want to make sure i've saved all of the ones that like i use and i didn't leave anything out that i like ran out of no so i've said these are all the products that um i use obviously i don't use all these things every single day i already told y'all like the purpose of all these like i say pretty much all of these are black owned except for literally two products and like i say they're all gonna be linked down below so make sure you like this video and you know comment down below what are your favorite products share this video with somebody who you think you know what i mean might need to know of some good you know black owned natural hair products and until next time make sure you click on any of these videos on screen because they're all great too